Hey everybody, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the GameCom, and we're playing some more Stellaris. I was trying to play some XCOM, and it was pissing me off, to be honest. Ah, so we're playing some Stellaris, because you know what? This game, this game doesn't do stupid things like, oh, hey, you missed a 30% or a 80% shot. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we're losing money because we're colonizing a planet. Which planet are we colonizing again? Uh... Where is this one? Poor quality minerals. Well, that sucks. Where? No, 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 no. Cancel. Let's go here. Oh, yeah, yeah, way up here. Um, actually, no, no, no. We are doing an if floor. Yeah, that's right. We ended up finishing the one that was up in Sapir. All right. It's been a day, if you uh, didn't notice. So it's taking me a little bit longer. Um, you can't do anything because I currently have the other one. Um... What are we doing here? We are building synchronized defense after we finish another Corvette. Yeah, yeah, that sounds fine. Our minerals are kind of crap right now. Um, at least the total number of minerals. Our mineral gain is not terrible. Um, we're trying to expand system out this survey. direction. Uh, we ended up finishing our system survey. You finished that. You are currently working on the anomaly and you're about to finish the anomaly. The big thing is I should probably, oh, I can't because I have, um, there's a bunch of enemies there. I would, I think we just need to get our fleet up and go destroy these guys. And it was 400 and something, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember. We were going to throw down a, um, a bush frontier outpost out here. So some kind of Berlin silicone life base form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Eco uh, v, uh, 5A. As best as we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks, and there's evidence suggests they possess, possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shoveled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Nice. All right, yeah, so ever more reason, even more reason than to uh, throw down a frontier outpost in one of these um, areas. So then you are going back and researching there. I think we do want to go with Eco. Um, especially with the border gain, I think we can start getting that and this, and I think that's going to be pretty good. And then when we get this, we kind of have this whole area filled in. So, yeah, we're pretty good right now. Let's go ahead and advance time. Once again, our armada is chilling. Uh, I would like to build more ships, but... Well, I guess we just go ahead and do it. I'm kind of, like, half waiting, too. Where are you going, and what are you doing? You're building another wormhole gate. That's right. A uh, jump gate, because I'd like to see more over here. Because, like I said, there could be a continental planet in that direction that we may want to look at. It doesn't seem like there are any other planets over here, which is just a bit on the depressing side. But we do have these guys at 294, so we only need, like, 100 more, and we're going to be really well equipped um, to take on the pirates that are in this system. And we also do need to increase our fleet size, just, you know, in case the Jithin get any sort of ideas um, on attacking us. We do also want to throw down another uh, colony here in Finn, but I'm not going to rush that one. I think Derep is going to be my next one. Um, what, how much to build a frontier? 170. I think we'll go ahead and enter orbit. Oof, why do these get so expensive now? Huh. I wonder if this goes up, the more, um... Oh, it's based on the distance! Okay, so the influence cost is based on the distance. So it has a 30 influence cost normally, and then it's 197 because it's so far away from my borders. That's interesting, good to know. So I wonder if maybe I should, yeah, I really need an Echo though. I mean, you got plus freaking three and two there, ugh, that's nice. Although the rest of it's kind of crap. Meh. I mean, we could go to Nizzerstrom. That's a two and a two. It's not great. And we would... See, I just... I kind of want all these in our borders. And I think... I think... I think doing this is better. How long until our borders pop? Three months. Complete. I think we chill. Honestly. I think we chill. Once we actually uh, uh, have our borders pop, then we can get a better idea of where we need to look. Uh, to expand so we're gonna go ahead and send you out here and I would like to see if there's any continental planet for us to inhabit here here there there we already looked at you we already looked at you okay cool um sounds good we finished getting our colony god that's so pretty oh I love this freaking game like it's so pretty we are losing money though 
Let's go ahead and look at, um, you need to grow. You need to grow. You do have a person on minerals. What is your food currently looking at right now? You only have a plus one food. So I really need to throw, ah, uh, that's why you're going there is because there's plus one food. Yeah, I should probably build a farm here. I know we're going to lose the collection, but we need the extra food. And then you have energy. What, do we need food here? Not really. Can we upgrade anything? No. And we have plants on everything. So the only way we're going to get more energy at this point then is for, well, when our borders pop. So let's actually go ahead and send you over here because you will be able to build plus three energy here pretty quickly. Oh my gosh, and that has a plus three and a plus three. Oof. Yeah, that's going to be really nice here. Pretty quickly. Two months, so by the time you get there. Um, my other construction ship, I think we're in an okay spot. Uh, what are we missing? Oh, we're still missing 10 influence. So, I guess just chill. We have 318. We're about to get 400 something. I, I think let's go ahead and build a few more. Construction complete. Situation updated. We've encountered aliens, the Kappas, and Rosaris. Oh, stop. Rosaris. Which one was Rosaris? Rosaris. Where's Rosaris? Oh. Hello. And you are an enemy. Yeah, okay. Uh, that looks like, um, oh crap, what was the type? It's not the bug type. It's the avian. It's the bird type. I remembered. Okay, so then, what did we just finish? Oh, science. Aha! So border range plus 20%. Let's look at new research. Probably clear the kelp. Empire leader, empire leader, and then recruitment costs down. That's nice. Well, let's take a look really quick at our surface. And there's a lot of toxic kelp there. And by a lot, I mean two. You also have two toxic kelp. And you have dense jungle and one toxic kelp. So yeah, let's go do the toxic kelp. Let's go ahead and clear that one out. Uh, our borders did pop, so now we can build in here. Uh, you good sir, come build a mining station right there for me. Um, our borders are now contiguous. Good. Are any additional systems inside my borders? You are almost inside my borders, but not quite. You also are almost inside my borders, but not quite. We do now have you inside my borders. Uh, and we did push this way a little bit. So, honestly, Torel, I think, would be the perfect spot to throw it down. I think we are going to throw down an Echo, though. When we finish, when we have enough. Uh, which we need 227, so we're still still a bit of ways away from that one. There's a continental world in here. Okay, so we need to go put a planet there ASAP. Arctic Tundra, Tomb. Interesting. I wonder why it shows up red, even though there is a continental world there. Just let's double check these. Yeah, yeah. So, I need one of my science ships to be done. And then we're going to go send them that way. And this will also help block them in. I don't remember what kind of planets they do. I'm pretty sure it's jungle, right? I thought I looked into. Now, you guys, the interior and, uh, change sign to 7%. Sounds good research. You, what are you? Um, arid preference. Okay, that's good, actually. Because arid is pretty much the exact opposite. Uh, anomaly found. Construction on Epsilon Prime. That was the surface. We are working on the anomaly. What was it? Significant scarring on the surface of the pattern that cannot be natural. Cool. I wonder if that's actually part of that chain. That might actually be part of that chain that I was just looking at. Um, our fleet should be now big enough to go System take out these pirates complete. and go land there. This means I probably want to go ahead and take a good look, a uh, quick look. Ooh, lots of minerals over here. Construction complete. Um, that means I probably want to go ahead and take a, a look at clearing that one out. But I do need to get another, uh, um, planet. Um, blah. 
uh, colony ship built. Someone used a mining laser 5,000 years ago to carve writing. Short story, we gain plus three on there. Okay, it's kind of worthless, but thank you. Sorry, I got like four text messages at once. And I was like, wait, what? Who the heck's texting me? Uh, we figured it out, though. Uh, ch -ch -ch my friends. Science ship. And we want to take you over here because there's continental world. Survey that one, survey that one. Uh, you're still exploring. We're good to go. We've been fully surveyed. You finished construction. You've been fully surveyed. What are we at? We're at 17 to 24. How much extra minerals do we have? We have a bunch. We're gonna throw down like, yeah, we're gonna throw down like four more ships. I'm wondering, uh, I don't know. I see it both ways, a tropical world over there. Part of me feels like I shouldn't be wasting my time sending my fleet to all these different ones, but then, cause I should go clear this one out, but then I'm also kind of like, maybe I should. Also, we did want another colony ship, so. You are currently going to build me. Do we have enough now? 227, yes we do. Build me a frontier outpost, thank you. Let's go ahead and expand our borders this direction. We're very aggressive in this game right now, expanding our borders. Okay, so we finished a construction ship. You built that, that sounds good. We do not have enough minerals right now, so let's cancel one of you to build on you because that's gonna give us a lot of freaking science for free i mean that's six science for the cost of 65 yes please thank you um i really need to upgrade my uh my energy credit uh factories i forgot what they're called i need my science to actually finish first armada was forced to return because it's within the border of the zazcock remnant okay Pitiful creatures, know that we roam the stars for eons before your hapless species mastered spaceflight. If any of you wretched little ships cross in our space, do not expect them to return. They are in ascendancy. They are stagnant. Military, uh, military isolationists. This fallen empire dedicated itself to the defense of the borders against any intrusion. Colonizing systems that border them is likely to draw their ire. Oh, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So... Our citizens all send their regard. Wonderful. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh he like he like right on my border. Oh they bad. That's bad. Um So I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be able to uh, colonize that one. In Falmir. This is actually their planet, right? Yeah, this is actually their planet. Oh. And they're militaristic, too. Which is freaking scary as heck. Wow. Okay, can I do anything to make you like me, sir? Declare offer. Offer trade deal. You want it? You want to give me information? Uh, star charts? No. How about an active sensor link? No. Nah. How about... You have strategic research? How about research agreement? No. I don't know what this row is. Particles. Huh. Those are nice. By the way, I actually... Didn't I finish the Batharian? I did. Don't one of my planets have Batharian on it? I could have sworn one of these planets had Batharian on the surface. I just totally forgot. Ah, right here. I need to go ahead and build a Batharian plant on you. Where are you at? Uh, all right. How? Do we... What? Where is my researched? Unlock defense army, border range. Was that a previous playthrough? Huh, maybe that was a previous playthrough. Batharian power plant, right here. Batharian power plants consume Batharian stone produce vast amount of energy credits. 
Okay. So, can I... Do I need to actually have the Batharian first? How does that work? I thought I could just build a Batharian power plant wherever. Batharian power plant. Records a... Oh, okay. So, we need to upgrade you. But you need at least pop five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, well, we're fine. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I'm a little freaked out about having a, a militaristic uh, ascendancy right on my border. So, yeah, maybe we should expand in this direction, I think. <laughs> oh, freaking heck. We could also look to go up this way. Well, I guess we're going to dare up next. Um, speaking of that, we don't have enough minerals right now. Uh, oh, my gosh, people. Leave me alone, I am recording. Like seriously, I've gotten like 16 text messages and then everyone's like blowing my phone up. Um, so we really need to get more energy crystals right now. So, how can I get more energy? We could send another guy down here. You're not growing super fast. I think that's I think what we need to do is we need to build a basic power plant here and I think I need to send you over here and I know we're currently not working that one tile I think that's okay I just need to get that going um, and then with you on the point we should actually have a little bit of bonus we have one bonus we'll actually have quite a bit of bonus here so my next guy I need to send over there so our scientists did the level up um, and you finished your surface construction sounds good um, so, where is my fleet? You're still going to explore those three. Sounds good. I do still kind of want to go land here. But can we land there without, you know, invoking his ire? He actually doesn't hate me. He really doesn't hate me. Construction complete. He likes frontier outposts and he likes spaceports. Okay. So we finished the research station. Which is going to give me more negatives, but uh, once again, I think we're okay. Um, yeah, okay. Just want to see who that was. Construction complete. <sighs> Are there any other systems inside my borders I can put stuff in? Like I said, no. Oh, well, you know what? We do have this one. Where are you at? You're here. Where are you at? You're down there. You know what? Stop what you're doing and come here. Survey this guy. Because there could be like a bunch of crap in there. So, we are receiving transmission from the Shatari Autocracy. They appear to successfully translate our language. We get a bunch of influence for it. Hello, these are the birds guys we saw up there. They speak on behalf of the Shatari Autocracy. I bring you greetings. Um, their great leader, Empress uh, Kremek. Uh, the first is very pleased to have made contact with your unique species. We look forward to exchange of culture and ideas. Okay, then. They are Xenophile, which is awesome, and they're Collectivists, which is not as awesome. So, let us not send our um, Materialist, but let's send the Individualist. And hopefully they won't hate me for that. And they're over here? Okay. Sounds good. They actually might be the ones that like me the best right now. Yeah, they actually like me a lot. So, can we... They will not take a non-aggressive pack. We could guarantee their independence, but that costs money. So I think we're just going to apparently just maybe stay here for now and let this tick up. Because it is going to tick up quite a bit. Now, how does the Chithin think of me? They actually have superior to me. And they don't like me. Mostly because we're rivals. Also because I refuse to be subjugated by them. <laughs> I forgot about that. That was pretty good. They are like, hey, you should be our subject. And I was like, yeah, no. Nah. Nah, I'm good. And they're like, oh, we don't like you now. And I'm like, all right, all right cool. Whatever. Um, I'm half tempted to build another warp gate up here to go explore this direction. You know someone's like right here on the border and they're probably getting their butt kicked. Actually, they might have actually already wiped someone out too. That That is totally possible. Oh my gosh, another continental and ocean world. <sighs> oh, we're going to have to take this remnant on at some point. Oh. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. I should build a warp gate like right here or here. I think for now, let's just put you in orbit around Sutharia. Just to save a little bit of money. 
Uh, we have detected the presence of a pre-space alien civilization on Eremonics in the Minotox system. Atmospheric contaminants and light pollution visible from orbit are consistent with the densely populated machine age society. They appear to master air travel and factories are mass producing goods in their cities. We should consider building observation posts. Nice. Where was this in the Mintaka system? Which one's the Mintaka? Over here. All the more reason. Is this on the planet that I could actually build on? Yes. That's why it wouldn't show up. Oh, that's potentially a bit of a bug. But it's a continental world. Interesting. And they're pretty far along. What did it say? They are in the machine age. Yes. Yeah, so they're going to be spacefaring before too long. Oof. Maybe one of these is supposed to be their secondary planet. So that's going to be rather interesting. Um, we would like to uplift them so they become our subjects. But yeah, that's a bit a uh, ways away. For now, I think we are going to wrap this episode up here. God, we found another one. Oh, yeah, we saw that one already. Um, the reason why is I would like to go ahead and get all of our fleets poised to go take on this dude over here. So let's get you guys all over here. And then they're going to jump in Darep next time. And hopefully, we should actually look at starting this. Let's get you building. Spaceport, uh, colony ship, please. And we want the one that is Xenophile. Thank you. And we're going to go ahead and throw you down pretty quickly. And hopefully, all this will be in our borders. But that will be next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a like, go and comment. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment, and show your support. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.